you guys and welcome to today's video so today's video i'll be doing part two to my perfectionism and learning your art video so this is part two to that video uh, i will leave a link or the i card somewhere in the video here so for today's video i thought i would talk about more tips because i felt i'll right out of time in that video to talk about more tips of how perfectionism is ruining the art. So, tip number one is slow down. I did the art of slowing down video and I'll put a link somewhere in the i cards as well. Um, but the art of slowing down is like not rushing your art, taking your time. Now, if you're doing just a drawing or if you're doing any type drawing like that, um, that's when you want to speed up your art, but that's the only time where I think you can really speed up your art and have some fun with it. Or if you're sketching, you know, want to speed up a little bit. But with that being said, you want to take your time and not get caught up in the details at the same time. But I wanted to mention that as well. Number two, impatience. Impatience is a lot of factor that gets me sometimes um impatient is like you know you don't want to deal with it but at the same time you want to make art definitely want to take a break um you don't want to like spend every detail and creating every detail of your drawing or whatnot so impatient think of it as having patience and think of you know, you want to, like, get every detail, but at the same time, you don't want to be so precious about it where you don't want to do anything. Um, that's how perfectionism can ruin your art. Um, but also, tip number three, you want to do thumbnails before you draw or, like, you do a final piece. That way you can, um, not get caught up in the details and sketchy in your final piece. Um, tip number three... Uh, it's basically when you sit down to draw, you want to warm up first. Uh, that way you can get your hand moving and get your, um, your hand and your mind coordinated together. And just to have practice and patience. And that's the whole key factor of this, uh, video is patience is key. Uh, perfectionism, you see other artists online and it's another thing to compare yourself to other artists. You don't want to do that. You want to compare yourself with your old art and your previous art and your current art. So I wanted to mention that as well. And those are my tips that I have. Uh, perfectionism can be a thing. And, you know, you want to be happy where you are currently and still grow art in the journey. And I wanted to mention that as well. Cause I, didn't, I don't think I mentioned that in the other video, but art is a journey. Be patient with yourself, be kind to yourself, and wanted to mention that as well because when art is a journey, you have room to grow and as an artist. And I think that's an important factor when it comes to drawing and, you know, other tidbits of art practice and how to draw anything. I could do like a whole video on that, but you want to draw with shapes. Um, you want to draw with basically how you uh do line art and you know not to get i keep saying not to get keep up with the details but uh if you want to draw anything you want to start with a basic shape uh broad shape and not get caught up details that's an important factor too so i want to just mention that as well i hope i covered all the basics i wanted to cover in today's video so, I wanted to mention also, if you want to practice, you can just draw warm-ups on separate sheets of paper, not in a sketchbook. Um, you want to draw on loose paper if you're getting caught up on like, having a perfect sketchbook. Um, I wanted to mention that as well. I think I mentioned that in the other video, but I wanted to mention that as well. And also, uh, you want to practice with circles and lines and all that. On warm up drawing, I think that's really important to do that. And it's just, you know, getting caught up in the details. It's like zooming in on your art and just 
nitpicking on trying to make it perfect. If you're keeping erasing a lot, draw a straight and pen. That way you don't erase. Um, a lot of skills your classes mentioned not erasing, which is a little of an annoying sign because sometimes I feel like I have to erase, which is fine. But if you are getting really nitpicky, I would say draw a straight and pen. Um, that way you can like not erase and accept the mistake. That's another thing, accept the mistake, work your mistakes into the drawing. Uh, I think that I've been learning that along the way and that's been really helpful. Um, especially since I like to draw a pen a lot and I like to draw and, you know, pen and ink and ballpoint pen you can make a lot of mistakes. And I wanted to mention that as well. So that's an important key factor is to work your mistakes into your drawing. So. That's another factor I wanted to mention in your art. Um, if you're facing the art block, that's another thing. If you're facing the art block, just take a break. Take care of yourself. Do some self-care. That's the best thing you can do for yourself because if you're facing the art block, that's a whole other ball game. That's a whole other, you know, thing that we have to deal with. And in, as artists, you know, it's sometimes difficult to just sit down and draw. Sit down starting. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention as well is starting to draw. Uh, that can also get in the way of perfectionism and that can get in the way of starting to draw on the paper. That's when warm up comes in handy and warming up your hand. And I emphasize that because when you start to draw, it's like taking a blank sheet of paper and being fear of the blank canvas. Um, that's a whole different video by itself, but I wanted to mention the point because uh, those can be tricky. I'm not going to lie, but perfectionism is like, oh my gosh, it's, it could be a thing. It could be a really thing. I uh, wanted to mention that as well. So I hope you liked today's video, part two. If you want part three, let me know. I can do more tips on perfectionism and how um, it can really hurt your heart. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to bell on so you won't miss a single video.